All right, good afternoon. Hello again. Welcome back to our last live Facebook of the day. Let me just pull my chair up, check my camera. Everybody's happy. I hope you're all having a wonderful Thursday. It is Thursday, not Friday, as my brain keeps can, trying to convince me that today's Friday, but alas, it's not. As part of the Great International Craft Show for Craft Alive, today and tomorrow and Saturday, we have, we've got some fantastic specials online at nataliemay.com.au. And we will be coming to you each day, giving you free live Facebook mini classes, which you can go back and watch at your leisure at a later date, or, um, or you can watch on YouTube as well. And we have got fantastic specials for you every day. So we have an awesome special running today. Today only, we have got paper, stamps, and washi tape. And today, of course, is Thursday the, what's the date today? 13th of July. <laughs> um, so we have got those specials available, stamps, washi, and paper available at 15% off on nataliemay.com.au. Uh, tomorrow, we will have a brand new special, uh, which is fantastic. But these items here are for today only, being Thursday. So this morning, we released a brand, six brand new collage papers. So I thought that for this class, I would use one of our new collage papers. This is called Dell and Pina, and these are two new girls in our collection. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to show you how to incorporate it into an art journal page. The last art journal page I did about an hour or so ago, this was the page using washi tape. You'll be able to go back and watch that one. And as you can see here, in my craft journal, I've just put down some gesso in the background. I'm going to use this grey image here and show you how to incorporate her into my page. I'm going to do the water tearing technique, which is super simple. It's just softening the collage paper. It's going to zoom up so you can see it a little better. Maybe. There we go. Softening the collage paper and tearing it while it is wet to give a softer tear. Now with collage paper or tissue paper, if you were to try and cut it with scissors, I personally don't like the sharp lines that it leaves. So what I like to do is just wet it and wet about an inch and a half at a time and you'll find that it just tears away really, really easily. Just like that. Hello ladies. Hey Naomi. Oh, Naomi can't hear us because she's got no sound. <laughs> so again, we can talk about our wonderful brand, brand ambassadors. So here at Natalie May Scrapbooking, we have a wonderful team of brand ambassadors that bring you fantastic creative bits and pieces every week. We have the super talented Linda Pearson, Jackie Hay and Naomi Alchin which I'll probably never say that right, so sorry, Naomi. But she can't hear me anyway because she has no sound on. So you can see how easy it is just to tear this collage paper a little bit at a time. Just like that. And then I'm going to take it down here and tear off that edge. So I do find it much easier to tear a little bit at a time because if you tear too much... So if you wet it too much, you will find that it will dry and won't tear nicely. Now I am also going to tear off the bottom. I 
I'm going to be creating today my Dina Wakefully Craft Journal. Uh, the Dina Wakefully Craft Journal is my current favourite. I do like the size of the pages uh, and the thickness of the pages. It is a thirsty journal, which means that it does soak up a lot of paint. And I'm going to take the top off as well. Now, as you can see, what's happened here, the, the craft pages in this journal are that craft brown colour. So I want to keep her face with a white base behind it, which is one of the reasons I have gessoed my page. Now, if I was to leave it without a gesso, it means that the colour of the paper underneath is going to come through. So I have chosen to put a little bit of a white gesso base down like that. Now I'm going to use gel medium to stick her on. So I'm going to use a brush. <laughs> okay, so Naomi can hear me. Now at this point I have to decide if I'm going high or going low. And I think I might just pop her in the middle and build it out. Let's do that. Right, so gel medium. Gel medium is an excellent adhesive. So gel medium is what we're going to be using to stick our collage paper down to our page. The, I find the best way to put gel medium onto a project is to pop it into position like that. And then I'm just going to gel medium on, on direct onto the page a couple of inches at a time and then put it over the top like that a couple of inches at a time. So what's happening here is that we are spreading out the gel medium, we're making sure that it's got a good coverage underneath, it's not super thick, and we are sealing that paper over the top. I am going to be building around it using some acrylic paint, and I don't want it to be super thick, but I do want it to be nice and smooth, have no bubbles, and can be completely covered. So if I put the image down, and I like put gel medium onto the image and then put it down, it goes all bumpy, you put too much on, uh, it will take forever to dry, and it's very unforgiving if you're wanting to put it in, if you accidentally put it in the wrong spot. So by putting it down here first, then putting it on just like you're contacting school books, like that, will give a really nice finish. And now going over the top of it, just to make sure that I've got a really good sealing coat on it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use two fingers and I'm just gonna gently polish off any excess. I do have some paper towel here, just to clean my fingers. But what I'm doing is a trick that I learned from Tim Holtz and it takes off any excess and it smooths out any air bubbles. Like that. So now she's incorporated beautifully into my page. Now, gel medium can become like a, can offer a bit of a resist on the page. So you might have noticed I didn't go all over my page. I did leave, try and keep it just to where my image is going to go. So that when I then in a moment decide that I want to paint around it, She's completely stuck down and covered. Um, I'm using the Dina Wakely Gel Medium, the Soft Gel Matte Medium. This is my current go-to. I find that it gives a really lovely, good coverage. All right, so there we go. All right, now, just cleaning my paintbrush off good and proper because Gel Medium is a glue, and if you leave Gel Medium on your brush, you can kiss your brush goodbye. All right, now I'm gonna zoom out. That's in, there we go. And just grab some acrylic paints. Oh. Hey Kasha, could you grab me that other trolley of paints, please? Thanks. Just there, with the things on it, you know. Okay, and I'm just going to grab my heat tool and dry this off. 
because what I want to do is I just wanted to grab some of the pink paints that I've got around. Thank you, Kash. And some greys. And some blacks. Drying. Maybe some blues. All right. There we go. So just off to the side here, while that's drying, you can see that I am using our stamp, uh, sorry, our paint stands. These are something new that we have designed in-house here. In-house here to hold paints. Add to your order now. These will not be on special. They have got Natalie May scrapbooking on the side and they hold paper artsy paints. They hold Dina Wakeley paints. They hold Dilusions paints. They also hold a little loosely put on your desk the Art by Marlene paints. So they are very awesome. So what I wanted to do is right, is I want to have a bit of a play with some of these colours around the outside and start building out and blending through myself. So what have we got? I've got a paintbrush here. The paintbrush that I'm going to use today is I'm going to use this guy here. This is the size 18 Art by Marlene brush. And I'm going to have a bit of a play around with my colours first to check my colours that I've got here. So this is Wine by Art by Marlene. That's nice. I have got Orchid by Paper Artsy. Oh, that's nice. Bubble gum by Paper Artsy, personal fave. Very Barbie pink, didn't shake it first. Let's have another go. Some days adulting is just completely overrated, isn't it? go so what I'm doing is making a bit of a, a bit of a start here with a few pinks to have a bit of a play that's my highlight color so that's very very pink quite know what I was thinking there so we're gonna go with it okay I'm gonna go with the color that looks like it's closest right so that's this one here and I'm just gonna start with a little that's pretty great actually the fact that I nailed that, what colour is that? Orchid. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of finger smooshing. Smooshing. What am I, 12? Smooshing. And I'm just wetting my brush a bit. To blend out some of these bits here. Now, just a wet brush. Paper towel. Bit of a brush change. And I'm creating a bit of a layer next to my focal point image. So I'm kind of happy with that. And not my finished layer, very aware of how smushy it looks around here. Much happier with this brush. Little bit of water. And just going to give it a little bit of a smush around the place, going out to my page that's next to it. 
And because it's acrylic paint, I'm going to start building some layers, okay? So I've got some of this darker wine colour here that I kind of like the look of. For a little bit of depth. A bit more depth around here. But I'm just going to have a little bit of a play with getting some of these, some of these lovely rich colours on. Big long strokes. Sorry, I'm not reading your comments. I'm tied up in my creating here. Uh, and in a minute, I'm going to add some splatters as well. And stamping, stenciling. All right. Clearly, that's still wet. And I've taken some colour off. All right, I'm going to come back to that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to think about these greys and blacks that are going on. Uh, I'm going to turn my, my mat around here and I'm going to have a bit of a play with... I've got a paper artsy one. Hello, Emma. Hello, Robin. Hey, Marilyn. Now, for those of you who have placed orders today, thank you very much. We've just activated our no judgment postage. So if you decide that you do want to add to your cart, this one is called Inky Pool. Um, you certainly can, and there is a dollar fifty fee if you are adding to your cart. All right, so adding to your order. Sorry. So if you decide that you do want to place a second order, then of course you can do that. And if you are local, you are welcome to also do that because that helps goes toward our picking fee, and we are very grateful. All right, let's have a bit of a play here. So, got a cleaner brush. Hello, Sam. How are you, lovely? Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to have a look down here and I'm going to take this. Wow, that's super dark. Didn't think that through. So, I'm going to take that one there, which is Koala by Paper Artsy. And I'm going to have a little play with those. And I'm just going to do a little blend, get that happening. Do a bit of finger painting across the bottom. And make a new grey. A bit of bonus, whatever that could have been. Alright. So for today only being Thursday... We have got 15% off of stamps, 15% off of patterned papers, and 15% off of washi. So if you want to go back and watch the previous video that I created earlier, which is the making of this art journal page, you can certainly scroll back down and have a bit of a look. Uh, and all of the products that I use, you'll find those listed in the comments. All right, so now I'm just giving her some depth on her shoulders. And like I said, I will be adding some splatter and blending that in lightly. Now we've got a lot more going on up here. So I've got some black, but I'm also going to bring in some blue because I, I like this idea of solid black, but I also like the idea of a bit of blue coming in as well. And this is, we're going to push that up to there, cover up that line that I, I had there. And I'm just going to create a little bit of, take it off the page. I'm not looking for shape in particular. I'm not looking for uh, a particular hairstyle. I'm looking at covering my, my page with her. And I know that my black, sorry, my splatter that I'm going to do in a moment is going to help with dispersion of colour. Right, getting that on. So now her head has got a bit of shape. And I'm mixing a bit of a blue-black in the background, or on the side of my mat here, as you can see. And I'm going to 
going to take that out that way. So I've still got a little bit of stamping to add in, but I'm just incorporating her now into the background. And it's nothing more than playing with a few different colours, mixing them together, doing a little bit of, a bit of brush mixing. And I'm going to stamp as well. All right, I'm going to hit that with the heat gun and dry it off before I add another layer. But she is coming together quite nicely. Let's grab a stencil. going on up there. Oh, Natalie. So instead of uh, doing too much more detail on the side here with pink paint, I'm going to be stenciling over the top. I just, I've just decided. So pulling out my little bag of tricks here. over the top in the same colors that I have worked with on my background uh, because I'm having a particularly messy day hello Suze hello Del. I'm going to do a little bit of this to cover up her face and her shoulder here because yes for some reason today my level of messiness is ex excelling uh, at, I'm, I'm doing a shit job right Latex wedge, nothing more than a cheap price line, Target, Amazon. And I'm just going to get it on there to create an interesting little pattern here. What are you girls whispering about? We're just doing some little bits of Oh. Right. Talking about me. So now I'm just creating a little bit of interest over there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. It's just a little bit of depth, a little bit of interest. And I'm really focusing on using this wine. I may go over the top yet because, you know, we change our minds. I feel like I need some dots in there as well. Oh, that's working. Blending that up, blending this bit here up. I haven't even touched that pink because it's just the wrong colour. Righty oh. All right, so we're getting somewhere. I'm going to be adding some spots now. Need spots. Same colours. A bit deeper, this, this beautiful colour. Layers and layers of lovely colour. Okay. Oh, it's probably not showing up on camera, but it's definitely here. Just take that down there. Good, good. 
Right, bit of black around, a bit of stenciling at the top. Hello Delfina, how are you my friend? Delfina and Pina, this paper is named after both of them and they are both here to play. Hey Kasha, could you grab me, behind the door there is an apron. I'm going to do some splattering. So I'm feeling the need. Like some shielding. I feel the need for some sort of protection from myself. Okay, I'm going to use this stencil in across the top. Let me to dress me. Um, no, no, just whack it there where I can reach it, I think will be fine. Okay. For when I just can protect myself from myself. So now I'm just using another colour. This might not work. Oh, look, let's connect to it. So I'm using my, for those of you just tuning in for the first time, this is one of my brand new collage papers that we released this morning. And this one is called Delfina and Pina. Right, so now I'm gonna go over her face. Oh, look at that, that piece of paper towel is perfect. Little bit of stencil, color over color. Kind of looks good. Right, and now I'll go down the bottom here. Actually, I'm not going to do anything down the bottom. And I'm going to I'm going to leave this like it is and get rid of that paint so I don't put my elbow in it. Uh, radio stamping. Need to add some stamping. I went to my stash and pulled off a couple of different stamps. I love this. And I'm heading towards using this. I love this. But I feel like it needs to be stamped in. Oh, I... oh no, I could use that. Ooh, that. All right, so this is a visible image stamp. See you, Kasha. See you tomorrow. You're my friend. I was going to say favourite employee, but this plain favourites thing is getting me in trouble. Louise, do you mind tomorrow, okay? No. No, all right, she's better. She's over it. Put a what? Put a calendar up. All right, so I'm using this one. So this is called Chain Reaction. And it is a visible image stamp. And conveniently, visible image are 15% off for today only. And you see what I did there? Did it show? No, it didn't show. All right, hang on. It looks really good. I don't know if you can see on camera. I've got black stamping over, yeah, there we go. Black stamping over black paint looks pretty great. Okay, so now I'm going to go down here to the side. I'm going to put it on an angle. Yeah, there we go. Now, I will bring it up to camera in a minute and show you, but it does look pretty great. I have surprised myself. Louise, are you still in the room? Mm -hmm. Why? There's a bright pink ink pad um, on the shelf, and it's just it's in a black casing there's only two of them in the same casing one of them's hot pink one of them's hot uh, bright teal what was that? Mm, that could work but there's a different one it's in a black casing correct thank you so I have a hot pink and I'm going to test it first to see thank you if it is the right colour and it's not too shabby. So it is a random brand uh, that I have had for ever and ever and ever. Um, I've lost my, I've just stamped on my paper towel and I don't want to use that in case it goes all the way through. How am I going for time? Half an hour, fabulous. So I'm gonna cover her up and I'm gonna go in here.
Okay, it didn't work because I'm not working on an even surface. There we go, I got it the second time. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear then. And that's not going to work either. Oh yeah, not bad, not bad. Not great either. Okay, how do we fix it? Let's find out if it'll blend in with a bit of water. It will. Because it is a water-based ink. We'll tone that back. Okay, so when you make a mistake, do the test. Can you wipe it off? Can you fix it? Okay, I don't hate that. Oh, gee, I saved that. All right, let's do it on this side. And wet paintbrush is just going to tone it back a bit, apparently. Let's go for that same effect. Oh, okay, I should bring that camera to show you because it does actually look... Not terrible. So there's the black stamping at the top, right? There's the black stamping that, sorry, the pink stamping that I messed up. And here it is down the bottom. Rightio, happy days. Do I feel like I need some gray stamping down there? I don't have a grey ink pad handy, but I have a black that I can off stamp with. So that means I can take the black off of here, stamp it onto here, then stamp it onto here. So now I have a shade of black. I have a tone of black. And I don't want to go over the top. I just want to pop a little here and a little there, but that is ample. Right, before going any further, I'm going to heat set that. No, I'm good, thanks, Lou. I'm going to heat set that. Actually, yes. What colour was that? Lost Shadow. Oh, Lost Shadow. You're a winner. Lost Shadow is going to be great to add a really light splatter. Did you think of that all by yourself? My non-crafty staff member, you. Right, I'm drying it off just to ensure that my ink here whatever water-based ink that was has gonna, is going to set. And then I'm going to use my Stabilo pencil to draw some more shoulders on. Because she's a little rounded in the shoulders. Stabilo pencil. Everyone needs a Stabilo pencil in their cart in their stash, in their collection. And a pencil sharpener that's gonna work would be good as well, apparently. Sorry, girl, just chat amongst yourself for a moment. Cause my pencil sharpener has got there we go. Needs a bit of attention. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just rounding her up. Smudging it down like that, giving her some definition. And because a Stabilo pencil is a water-based, a water-soluble pencil, I'm going to just use just a little water, just to sharpen that line and blend it through. Can you see how that's working? And I've got the advantage of being able to tone it back as well. When you go in a bit heavy handed and do the same thing over here.
Radio. And that's all she needs. Next, we're going to do this splatter that I scared myself talking about earlier. Uh, I'm just going to use my baby wipe, take this paint off my mat so that I can use it. This, I'll do the coloured splatter first. So I'm using a juicy paintbrush and I'm going to make a little wash of colour on here just by picking up some water and I'm going to cover her face yet again. No, I can't use that. Gosh, I destroyed that one. My last piece of paper towel, so I've got to commit to it, right? And your, your, your water, it has to have water on it, so it has to be a bit juicy and a bit drippy. So don't be afraid to make it a bit. Like that. Then over here, a little more. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, babe. Thanks. Sweet now that she's gone, you, you are my favourite star friend. <laughs> <laughs> she's got me on Bluetooth in her car. Alright, so I really like that. It's just given a nice little amount of splatter there. Um, I will do some black as well, but I think I might... I might do it with my Stabilo pencil and get a nice Stabilo black. So what that means is I can go on here with my Stabilo pencil. Activate. And now I've got a quick and easy splatter. And it actually goes on really nice and dry. So if it's not black enough, I can blacken it up with some paint. All right, so the non-crafty Louise, who just left, I know I can talk about her now she's gone. Lou, non-crafty, has a net, Netball's Louise's thing. She runs Netball SA. She's an absolute goddess. So Lou has now developed quite the understanding of the goods and what we use them for, right? So the idea of Lost Shadow for a splatter is actually a damn good one. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat set all of this first just to make sure that my splatters aren't going anywhere. And I feel like it does need some more black splatter, so I'll do that in a moment. Yeah, I think it does need more black. Hang on a minute. Hold that thought. Let me get some, now that I cleaned up that black. I'm just going to use black paint. Yeah, so Lou's, Lou's getting quite crafty. She's starting to understand how the, the products work and listening to me. She's, she's not a creator. She won't be creating. Don't expect to see any creativity oh shit coming from her no live Facebook soon I can tell you right now but her understanding of the products is becoming very very good that's better it needs to come down into there uh, so using the the suggestion of using lost shadow in a moment yeah there we go is quite a quite a smart one Right, I'm just going to dry that off. 
So Linda's just made the suggestion, if you're finding that your Stabilo pencil breaks and the lead keeps breaking when you sharpen it, pop it into an oven on a low heat and your the in, in, insides, the lead, the pencil bit, is going to all melt back together. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so there's only a couple more steps that I need to do with this. Um, I'm gonna stamp on a title across the bottom in a moment. And I'm then going, and I just wanna do this splatter with the lost shadow, um, because I'm, I'm fairly certain she's hit the nail on the head here. So lost shadow is a distress oxide. So it is this gorgeous, really light gray. Putting it onto my mat, nice and juicy. And then I'm gonna pick up this on here. And it's gonna do a beautiful, almost white splatter. Oh, gee, Lou. Don't tell her she's good, hey? Right, and there's already splatter in our design. So what I need to do is I need to pull that down. And I need to pull that down into here. So you could quite easily get a bit more drippy with this lost shadow, but I'm gonna stop because knowing when to stop is important. Heat set, and we're gonna add some stamping. She needs a pop of color in her eyes, and I just totally smudged that, but that's okay. Right. Uh, Lost Shadow is one of the newer colours. That may have been the last release. Emma's asking, is, is it a new colour now? Well, it's, it has been around for a little bit. It, um, it is a beautiful grey. Stamping it on a dark colour is just absolutely magic. So, for example, if I take, as you can see, I've got some black paper in the background here. So, if I take my stamp here and I stamp directly onto my background yeah it's it's really lovely it stamps up a treat so yeah it does it's, it's not a white it's a really pale gray and oh heck it's so nice on here ready I'll bring it up to camera look at that subtle and I didn't over splatter. I maybe under splattered a little, but you know, that's what we do. Okay, what colour? She needs a bit of pop of colour in her eyes. I don't want to go over the top by going in with a, a paint pen. I think I might go in with perhaps... I used blue up here, didn't I? So, so why don't I choose a... I've got more of a blue colour here with my Life of Colour, not my Life of Colour, what's it called? Paper Artsy. And it's a bit dark, but it's just enough. So let's have a little test. And I'm just pulling out the colour just to see what I'm playing with. I'm now going to go... I'm a bit nervous now. Hang on. There we go. And I'm not doing her whole eyes because it will be too overpowering. So I'm putting on... just a... just a teaser amount. Yeah, that works. Right. Light that up. I'll just stick my elbow in it. Okay, options. Let's think about my title. I'm actually really loving this and I'm not too worried about doing anything more arty farty, but I do want to put my title down here. I really feel the need to do this, but I really think I'll probably stuff it up. So let's have a look. So this is the All and Create number 920 art. Stamp. 
And I love that going there. Maybe I can just staple it there. No, Natalie. Bloody do it. See? I could just staple that onto there. Or I could use one of my new collage papers. No, I used one of those earlier. Alrighty. So I'm just getting a block and I'm going to do a little play here first over the area with a tag because I've got the stamp on here and first thing I need to do is ensure that my stamp is on straight. Now I'm going to ink this baby up. Go with my gut feeling. My gut feeling, thanks Sam, my gut feeling says I'm going to completely shag this up. But you know what? Let's commit. And for some reason I can't talk and do this at the same time. I have to apologise. Okay. Okay. It's not terrible. So... First thing we're going to do is we're going to re-ink my stamp pad. I'm using a black soot re-inker on my black soot ink pad. I wonder, am I confident enough to do it loosely? Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Let's ink it up using my fingers. Just, yeah, you can see that I'm doing that off camera. And then I know that I'm getting a good coverage. And then I know that I can just give it a good pressure. Oh, I don't hate that. Okay, just chat amongst yourselves while I get my brain to do this because for some reason I can't talk and do this at the same time. Full transparency, guys, you know what I'm like. Let's not mess around here. twisted. Should have listened to my gut, Sam. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Right. I'm going to dry it and then I'm going to stir below. Sharpen it again because I put my sharpener in a safe place. So, for those of you who are in South Australia, it helps if you put the sharpener on right. We have got Tracy Scott coming here to Adelaide this weekend, and we cannot wait. Tracy Scott, of course, is a designer for Paper Artsy and one of the most incredibly talented humans that I have ever come across in the creative industry. Uh, really, really excited to, to have Tracy for one day only. Now, if you are, you're in Adelaide and you would like to join us, we, do, we can make two, room, two spots appear for the class. 
so um, you can book online still. The retreat. Who here? Put your hands up, girls, if you have booked into our retreat for 2024. Because I can tell you right now, we have got a handful of places left and we are a little bit excited about it. Um, our retreat is our number one event each year and we cannot wait. I am in negotiations with a guest teacher and I'm not going to tell you who because it has not I'm not making promises that I can't keep. Uh, and we cannot wait for our, our premier event. All of the information about our retreat you will find on our website, nataliemay.com.au. We have a frequently asked questions page. Uh, it is three solid hardcore days of creating and relaxing and doing something just for you do you know anybody who's going doesn't actually matter because we will put you with like-minded blah blah blah, blah like-minded people there are no serial killers in the room we are all there for the common goal of creating and having fun and meeting people and doing something for us because this whole sport that we do, this arty farty thing that we, we absolutely love and embrace, that is all about us, isn't it? Sam, Sam, Sam says it's a little bit too far for her. Well, Sam, anything's possible, my love. I don't think it's too far for you at all. I think a trip to South Australia is going to be the best thing that you've done for yourself in 2024, don't you? Uh, okay, so yes, the 2024 retreat is on sale now. So if you are thinking about booking or you're on the fence, that's okay. There is a $120 deposit and we can't wait. Now, I'm just adding in some little scribbles to help blend all of this together. Um, what else do we need to say? What else is going on? Stamps are 20%, uh, 20 no, they're not 20% off. Christ, Louise would kill me. 15% off. St uh, what have we got here? Paper is 15% off and washi tape is 15% off for today. Uh, tomorrow, we will be having a brand new special. So tomorrow, there might be something completely different uh, available and we can't wait to hang out with you tomorrow. So join me live back here on Facebook uh, at 9am Adelaide time and we will be able to do that. All right, I'm not going to do this anymore because I'm going to completely mess it up. Um, I'll bring it up to camera to show you because I really love this. I think I have absolutely nailed it. Let's have a squeeze. Right, so we started out with a little bit of white gesso in the background. We collage, used gel medium to collage our image onto the background. We used a combination of a couple of different paint brands to build in our paint on the side with some stenciling and her hair and her shirt. Now, you can see what I did there, guys. I messed up that stamping and it's crooked, but that's okay. Um, I am going to heat set it. And did you notice her eyes have got the smallest amount of blue? Where are we? There. Just enough. There we go. Sorry, it was out of focus. Are we there? There we go. So just the smallest amount of blue to give it a little highlight. I could have had some blue splatters up there too, but I haven't. But you can see how easy it is to incorporate it into the page. I love that pop of pink through there. I love the heavy at the top and the light at the bottom. I think that really, really speaks to me. 
a uh, bit of pen scribble to balance out the pen scribble down here. I feel like I need to write a word here. I need a thicker black pen and yeah, that one will do. Art. Art brings me joy. Because it does. All right, and I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna let it be. So I'm gonna take a close up photograph in a moment. Um, I'm going to go home, I'm gonna clean up, maybe. Nah, I better clean up. Uh, clean up, go home, upload all of these videos to YouTube where my internet is better. <laughs> Uh, and you can jump over to my YouTube channel. Jump online to nataliemay.com.au to check out today's special, which is paper 15% off, stamps 15% off, washi tape 15% off. You can add to your cart, or sorry, add to your order over the weekend. You will need to process your cart each time. Things will not hold in your cart over the weekend and the prices will not be the same over the weekend. So you need to add to your order and you can just choose no judgment at the checkout for your second, third, fifth, 17th order. You do need to pay for postage. Postage is not free. Postage is $11.95 within Australia. Uh, the, what else have we got happening? I'm back in here in the morning to talk to you about the specials of the day. You'll see me at 9am Adelaide time, coffee in hand, fresh face of makeup, hair looking fabulous before the day goes back to reality. <laughs> um, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Uh, and yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to flick us a message uh, and one of our friendly staff will get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Uh, after hours, things may take a little longer, so please be patient. But jump online, nataliemay.com.au. You can get these items on a special for today only. Have a lovely evening. Go and hang out with your people um, and chat soon.